what's happening everybody welcome welcome back if you've been here before at capo black adonis games what we're going to be doing today is we are going to be bringing a metahuman into agls 1.02 as agls has just been upgraded to allow the main player to use ue5 mannequin skeletons this is a big deal for the people that are using AGLS and are in 5.4, this is a gem, all right? This is great stuff. Anyway, I wanna show you guys how to do it. This is gonna be assuming that you already know how to import a metahuman. If you're new to it, I will go through this with you really fast. Anyway, I've already created my metahuman. I'm gonna go ahead and go over to the folder where the metahuman is located. I want my quality to be the highest, so it's gonna take a little bit longer to put it together, but I've already downloaded mine, so I don't have to download it again. I just need to add it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and import this character into my project, and I'll be back as soon as that's done. All right, now once you've restarted, what you're gonna see is your metahuman here. You wanna double click on that and open it, and just make sure everything's all right first. All right, so the next thing that we're gonna do is go to the Advanced Locomotion V4 folder, open the blueprints and open the character logic. For those familiar with the system, you're gonna realize that there is not only the ALS Animan character BP, but now we also have an ALS Manny character BP. This is the character BP that allows you to use the Unreal Engine 5 mannequin. This is in the most recent update, version 1.02. So now what we're gonna do is copy this. I always recommend working from a copy. So we're gonna duplicate this, and I'm just gonna change the name to reflect my character's name. You can name it whatever you want. I'm gonna take that one off the end, and we're just gonna go ahead and we're going to save that. Now we're gonna go ahead and open that. Once you have it open, I'll show you that you can change this mesh to the Quinn if you'd rather use the Quinn. And we can go to the viewport here and you're gonna see that in Unreal Engine 5.4, even though they just released an update like a couple days ago, they didn't fix this major issue. This is still the Manny character and I just changed it to the Quinn. Well, don't lose all faith. If you go back into your blueprints folder here under the character logic, you will see that it actually is Quinn. It just didn't update here. Come on, Epic. This is 5.4. We should have this in the bag by now. Anyway, let's go ahead and all we're gonna do is reopen that. And when you get to the viewport, you'll see your new mesh there. So if you're using just a regular Unreal Engine 5, character and not something like a metahuman that's modular then it'll just snap right in like this and your character should work and look correctly now i will warn you guys that when you're using this that the characters are not perfectly synced up as if you use the tall man when making your metahuman then it'll work out fine for you but if you use any other version or any other build of the character if you use a short character or like the woman even if you use the tallest woman character it is not going to match up perfectly there's going to be some adjustments that have to be made and i'll have to look into how you make those we're just looking at bringing the character in right now so let's go ahead and move on the next thing that you're going to want to do is we are going to go back to our character and we are just going to copy the body mesh over Go here, we're going to look up this body mesh, which is here. And we are going to replace the visual mesh that we are seeing here with the body mesh. Now I've seen this done in other ways in other tutorials, and I'm gonna tell you why I'm doing it this way. First, let's go ahead and fix this mesh, reset to the default, and you should see your character skin as you're used to seeing it. The reason I'm doing it this way as opposed to just bringing the whole body and everything in and having it follow the old mesh that was here is that that's one more draw call, that's one more skeleton that's being referenced, that's one more blueprint that's gonna be referenced if we add another body, as I've seen in other tutorials. So that's why I figured I would just replace this 
because it's going to work. It doesn't need to follow anything but this main mesh. This is what you're following in real, in essence. You're following the same Anna man, except for the blueprint has been adjusted to make adjustments for the metahumans or the UE5 character that you use. So let's go ahead and we are going to go back to our character again after we compile and save this. So now realize that your body is now this visual skeletal mesh. With that in mind, we're going to copy all the other parts of the character. So we will copy these and it may rename them after you paste. Don't be in despair. We're gonna paste them and voila, it actually kept the names. Now, sometimes guys, it'll change all these names out. I'm just letting you know it does do that. So if it does, you can still figure it out. It's not that difficult. Now that we have all the pieces here that we need, we just need to get them in the proper places that we want them. As you can see, the head's way up there and things just aren't correct. So the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to connect all of these pieces to the body because right now they're connected to this mesh here. And where we want them to be connected is to the visual mesh that is our body. So let's go ahead and we're just going to bring this down here and we're going to connect it. And then now you're going to see that the body has snapped to the arms. Next thing that we're going to do is we are going to get all of the grooming assets and we are going to attach them to the face. Now you'll see that all the hair, everything has snapped into place and the character is looking somewhat better. Now we still have another change to do here. Now this change involves creating a node. To do that, what we're going to do is go into the construction script. In the construction script, we are going to grab all of these parts. So you want to grab every one of your parts to your metahuman and drag them in. Remembering that the visual skeletal mesh is now representing the body. Now off of this, we want to take one of these, any piece, and type in set leader pose component, all right? And then you want to hook up all of these to the targets. And then for your leader, you want to put your visual mesh. And then we want to hook this up. Go to your viewport, compile it, and you'll see that everything snaps into place. All right, so now you have your metahuman in with everything all set to go. The only other thing I would recommend is getting the LOD sync or the LOD sync, copying it and adding it as well as it gives you control over the metahuman and how it displays from distances and you can totally control all that. So that's what we're doing. Let's go ahead and add this character into the project now. And the easiest way to do it is to drag the character in. We're gonna go ahead and delete this character. And yeah, it's gonna say you're breaking references. Uh, the references are just, and I'll explain that, the references seem to be to these two blueprints, but they still work perfectly fine these two blueprints back here but they still work fine so i don't know it's probably the uh i believe that it's the sequence that is referencing them but it doesn't matter it still works now what we want to do is go to our character we want to touch on the character here with your mouse you want to go down and we are looking for the possess and right here it says auto possess player we're just going to put that on zero now we should be able to press play and we have our metahuman character in the project. Now I don't have everything set up perfectly. I'm on a controller and it's not set up by default to work with a controller, nothing more than just moving. I can't even adjust the camera. So, but that is how you get the metahuman in. And at this point you can use it and it's gonna work just fine. So let me know if you have any questions or anything about this tutorial be sure to like subscribe hit the notifications and share the content i'll be back with another one and capo black adonis games